Now new on Eyewitness News, could the state's minimum wage be going up? House and Senate Democrats are rolling out their agenda, and that is a priority for them, along with paid family and medical leave. Our chief capital reporter Susan Rapp is live at the Legislative Office Building in Hartford. And Susan, I know it's been discussed on Face the State, so these are not necessarily new ideas. Denise, these are not new ideas at all. In fact, Democrats have been pushing them for a while, but in years past, they had a hard time getting them through. This year, though, some think it could be different. But the message we had resonated across the state and cities and suburbs and rural communities. We want affluent towns running on minimum wage, gun control, paid family leave. The House Majority Leader says voters spoke up in November, electing more Democrats who support things like raising the minimum wage and paid family and medical leave. Paid family, medical leave and minimum wage is about putting dignity back into work and making people feel worthy of what they're doing. House and Senate Dems want to gradually phase in $15 an hour. They also want companies to give employees time off to have a child or extended sick time. It would be supported by money taken out of an employee's paycheck. Recent Q polls found 85% of Connecticut residents support paid leave. 63% support raising the minimum wage. A majority are women. Jessica Laura lost pay when she had a baby to pay bills and stuff. It was kind of hard. Then my husband, he lost his job two, um, two months after maternity leave. And then it was very hard. But some Republican lawmakers are sure to vote against it, saying it should be optional, not a payroll tax. And if a company feels as though it gives them a competitive advantage in terms of having additional employees and, and recruiting better employees, then they can make that choice themselves. The House and Senate Democrats rolled out other agendas and other priorities that they would like to see, which include more ex access to uh, prescription drugs and making prescription drugs more affordable. They also want more help for small businesses. And late this afternoon, Governor Lamont said that he supports some of these ideas and policies. We're live in Hartford, Susan Raff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.